What? Oh my gosh, man. This is a really nice, like, train cabin car. I, I kind of have my sheets, or, uh, that's what you put a, a, to cover the windows, right? Is sheets, right? Or, is this my bathroom? Oh, this is the hall. Hold on. This must be my bathroom. Hey, look! I've got a bathtub in my train car. Anyway, something seems to be going awry, so I need to investigate it. I've heard some very strange rumors from some of the other passengers that this train may or may not have some kind of, like, secret car that's like a chem lab of some kind. Now, why you want a chem lab on a train? I don't know. Okay, so this is the party floor. Wait a minute. This is a three-decker train. This has got to be the biggest train I have ever seen or been on. Look, we've got the poker room, the parlor. Got a little bathroom. Oh, what's up there, mutton chops? Oh, is this, is this as weird for you as it is for me? Well, let's see what else is going on in this train. This is the bar car. Yeah, I'll have, I'll have another one. I like to hold my bottles upside down so the fluid gets all over the floor and you get mad at me. The dining car, and my god, there are a lot of people on board. Oh, that looks appetizing. What? Don't look at me like that. Here, let me let me shave your beard a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And here is where those look like grenades. These guys look like they're holding a bunch of grenades. They could be canteens of water, but they also look like grenades. So, oh my gosh. Look at how close. You have no idea how close you were to dying. What? I don't understand. Stay down there. I'm on to you guys. This is some elaborate government conspiracy and we're all test subjects for the zombie virus, aren't we? I know what you guys are up to. They say I'm crazy. Whoa! But I'm not the one running around with a meat cleaver. I mean, I was until I threw it at somebody, but you know, I wasn't and I'm not anymore. So I'm not the crazy one here. All right, which one of you is going to get up and fight me? Oh, that hit you in the arm, didn't it? All right, I think I'm going to need some new ordinance here. I've got to find out who can give me answers. Who's got the answers? Hey guys, don't go in the, uh, in that room. It's weird stuff happened in there. I don't know. Everybody died. Yeah, this meat cleaver, don't, don't worry about that. It's, look, see, I don't even have it anymore. What meat cleaver? What meat cleaver? Oh yeah, that, that, this one. Okay. All right. So I think we have to investigate some of the other floors because there's something going on here. Oh, a little billiards room. So I think I was on the third floor. What? What? RTV? What does that stand for? This is some rock and music going on in here. We got the gymnasium. This is the nicest train I've ever seen. And we got the hot Ooh. tub king. Look, what a view you got here. Oh my gosh, there's a giant boxer. <laughs> Do you know how amazing this train is? If like, look at this. You're, you're going at high speeds and you reserve the very front part of the train for a hot tub. Is this what the future looks like? Cause this is pretty awesome. What's up, dude? You wanna go? I don't wanna go, I'm, I'm just kidding. There's gotta be something here though. Where are they hiding the secrets? Everyone keeps calling me crazy, but I'm not crazy. You hear that? I'm in your bed, you're crazy. It kind of looks like a toilet, but it's also a sink. I was like, how do you use that? Yeah, I'm in the, definitely in the nice cabin, okay. I feel like if I break through here, or maybe, hold on. They put me on the... Oh, there's another level. They put me on the wrong train. If I jump off and wait for the next train to come, I bet that's the government-funded one. All right, guys, I'm going. See ya. So I found this car along the railroad, hot-wired it, and used it to uh, catch up to this one. And look, this guy... That guy was on the floor dead, and now he's not. I feel like it's a zombie virus. They were eating this guy, and you can see like there's just little chunks of zombies. And conveniently located, there's a lot of high-powered weaponry here. So we'll start with the shotgun, and we'll see what's behind door number one. I think it's more zombies. What is this? Oh, it's a weapon of some kind. All right, zombies, let's do this. Now, I've got to clear out an entire train filled with zombies. Because look at these guys' uniforms. They clearly were like train engineers and train employees and now they are members of the undead so i've got to do something about that look like that guy's got a 
a hole in his chest and he's fine. What? I didn't even do anything to you. Are you actually dead? Did... Did... What did he trip on? Maybe my shot to his chest did do something. <laughs> but just in case. Look at this. The zombies are going absolutely crazy. The good news is it's basically zombie Thermopylae on a train. I've just got to hold the choke points until I run out of munitions. Or I scare myself, pee my pants out of fear, and, and run the other way. Hey! Stop it! I don't know! I'm running out of shotgun shells! I need Komodo here! Oh. Oh. The good thing about the zombies is their bodies are like deteriorating to a point where it's really easy to hit them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, but I did see a number of other weapons, including some high-powered ones. But let's try some brass knuckles. What do brass knuckles do to a zombie's face? Let's find out. <laughs> what are you... They're hitting the crowbar. The crowbar is... is this is hilarious. Oh, man, when you wind up and get a good hit with the brass knuckles, I mean, that's kind of weird that the crowbar is working like that, but I'm not going to complain. Luckily, zombies are also stupid. Uh-oh. Maybe not stupid enough. They're coming. They're coming. But look at this. Out of all these weapons, which one would you pick in the zombie apocalypse? Like, I think the long-term one would definitely be this machete, right? But in the short term, in a train, close quarters, when there's a ton of zombies coming... I'm gonna use a fully automatic AR. All right, so now we gotta sweep this, and I'm gonna be looking for secret weapons, and look at that, there's a pimp cave. Big pimpin'. Here we go, we're gonna put this on the desk real quick, or the bar, and I'm gonna use this a little bit. Conserving ammunition, I think, is important. Oh my gosh. Especially when there's this many. Ah! Whoa! The buildings are on fire. Where, where'd you come from? Okay, let's get this again. Now, is he staying down? All right, we're still loaded. Oh, I can't see my munition, uh, my ammo anymore. I guess I lost count. There's a dude's head on the ground. What are you doing down there? Okay, see? That guy just keeps getting up. But the good thing about this is it's a really good room cleaner. So what we need to do is wind up a bunch of these guys. Let's see, where's... Uh-oh, uh-oh, this is a problem. And... Ah! <laughs> uh-oh, we're out of bullets. Oh my god, the chef has, like... He was trying to make octopus, I guess? And the octopus got on his arm! There's only a few left, according to our intelligence, but I'm gonna need a few more weapons, I think. Yeah, so I don't know what is causing this zombie outbreak. All I know is Painted Down Red is one of the best games for just absolute chaos in physics-based combat. And I can even snipe, too! Ah! <laughs> Uh-oh. We're a little bit less accurate. It's too bad you can't shoot a Kimbo, though. That'd be kind of cool to be able to have two pistols. Uh-oh. There's the chef. Guys, I Whoa. There's, like, meat chunks flying everywhere. Kick them while they're down. Actually, kick them so they go down and then shoot them while they're down. That's the new MO. I think this guy might be alive. I don't think so. He doesn't have a head anymore. <laughs> All right, there's three enemies left and I got four bullets. So even if I suck at aiming, I've got a chance. But where are they hiding? Oh, there they are. This train looked a lot similar to the other one. Whoa. I mean, probably because, you know, it's a train. Guys, what seems to be the problem? You, you you had the bad octopus as well? Well, I've got magical abilities. I'm not entirely... No one ever explained to me why I had magical abilities. Hold on. I tried to shoot his leg. Now let's see what happens. No, he died. I wanted to see if he'd follow me. But look at this, man. The whole place is burning. Some of the cities are actually like... Are we... What is happening in the world right now? Anyway, I'm gonna eat some raw steak that has zombie blood on it, and that sounds like a good idea. So now, after surviving the zombie train, I think it's time to go back to endless mode. I'm kind of curious if it was patched at all. I don't think it was. All I know is it's insanely hard. You get gold at a relatively slow rate, and then you have to buy these weapons. Now, you can get a little bit lucky. Oh my god, more zombies? The zombies follow me to the arena. 
But then you get monsters too. Ow! Yeah, that, that does not bode well for me. Ooh, but we got one of the new harpoon guns. Okay. All right, we got some skeletons coming in here. They should be easy enough to kick over. This gun's awesome. See this little RNG? I'm getting some guns now. That bodes well for my chances of victory. And we're getting a decent amount of gold. I feel like they're behind me. Whoa, 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 what was that? Oh, was that just gold? All right, more skeletons. What's this guy? Yeah, there. it's like a little bit better, I think. We're not spawning in like the top level bosses right away. Or maybe it's just the RNG. Like, what is this thing? You're dead. You're not dead. How are you alive? There we go. It only took four of my spears. Ow! Where'd you come from? All right, now I gotta use it as a melee weapon. And I got a shockwave ready already? Excellent. Now, unfortunately, we got this ghoul with the spear. What's he gonna do? Fire a laser? I think he does. Where'd that pistol go? Ah! All right, I need the pistol. Okay, they're, they're summoning black holes to the abyss, and look what comes out. Oh my gosh. I wish I could summon allies. Look at, look, this is insane. I'm already gonna die. No, I'm too young to die. Oh. Ah! All right, we're gonna re we're gonna retry that because <laughs> it's brutal. Now, do I get lucky again with the weapon that drops? How far have you guys gotten in endless mode? This AR is 1,400 gold. Okay. Oh man, look at that. You guys got a freaking octopus, and he's got incredible range on that thing. Here we go. We're gonna have to use this to get him in the head from distance. Take him while they're down. Okay, we got a blue wizard. I need more weapons. Oh, it's a shotgun. I think they must have changed it a little bit. Hello. How has he survived two shotgun blocks? Boxers are tough. Not when you have a shotgun. Look at that. How did he survive a shotgun blast to the side of the head? Oh, I heard you. Here's one of the new weapons. It's like they're from Atlantis or something. This guy's got a stupid shield. It's just too dark, man. What? He just, I mean, I don't understand how they can survive that. Oh, he took a, a like a special ax right to the face. Okay, now there's the giant rock golems. How much gold do we have? We have 500. Is there anything that I can buy? This is 1200. 1,000, 1,400, not good enough, not yet. Oh my God, that's terrifying. I missed that guy with throwing the sword. Okay, what do we got? I need a weapon. Oh, what? Third time's the charm, guys? Uh-oh. That's the thing that spawns from the ground, isn't it? That's cheating. I gotta run, I get a wrench. I get a wrench to fight it. Hey there, wizard dude. You don't need a head. <laughs> Where's that little thing? There he is. Ow! Oh, that was a bad idea. I think I took it out. Run. You don't need a face. Okay. How could we, how, how are you able to survive a harpoon to the face? That's not, that's not fair, dude. The foot. What? What? I want the gun! I've only got 84 gold. We're not doing too well this game. Oh god, the electric slide. Alright, we're doing a little bit better and we got a shotgun. How did you survive a shotgun blast? Ah! There's like an absolute demon dog out here. Oh, it's like a hammerhead raptor. How's the boxer so strong? He's taking a sledgehammer to the face. We got another harpoon. He's missing pieces of his face. Oh God, something just spawned in below me. <laughs> this is my nightmare. There's multiple sandworms. Now there's a flying eye with a hand. There's just no way. Is that a fresh shotgun? It is. They're behind me. They're everywhere. These guys kind of remind me of Doom in a way. Okay, that guy teleported me across the planet. Cool. 
and I'm dead. I cannot even survive longer than five minutes in this. It is absolutely insane. So if you guys want to see more Paint the Town Red, let me know. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.